everybody and welcome back to another episode of uh, what was I calling the series again? It was it's, uh, the create mod survival series. I don't know. I had a name for it, but I don't remember what it was. Now, originally the goal of this video was going to be to build a house like right here so that I had a place to like actually live and sleep and stuff. But honestly, uh, I'm just struggling a lot with that particular build. Look at these screenshots, okay? I had this idea where I was going to use the mechanical bearings to get a sloped roof that was, like, actually sloped. And actually, the concept worked out really well. But then I ended up getting in this weird situation where the house was either going to be way too big and it made the water, the windmill, look uh, really small. It was, uh, it's, it's a tricky situation. I'll figure it out eventually. But today... Uh, I've kind of given up on that, and so instead, I'm going to be trying out a different project. So eventually, I want to take this here hole in the wall, and instead of having a staircase that goes down, I want to have, like, a functioning elevator, and that's something that we can actually do in this mod. We can make something called an elevator pulley, which actually isn't that expensive. Okay, yeah, this is actually a super affordable build. So what we're going to do today is we're going to set this up into an elevator, and instead of having a house right here... We're going to have a little industrial, like, mineshaft elevator that's going to lower us down under the ground, and that's where we're going to have all our, of our, like, crafting materials and stuff just waiting at our fingertips. So, in the last video, we made this machine that just mines diamonds for us, and the downside to that is that we end up with way too many resources, and I am very quickly running out of storage space. And another thing is that I made this windmill to generate power, but... It's actually really annoying to pull power out of this thing. Because every time I want to use a new contraption, I basically have to set up and pull the power out from this socket and then set the whole thing up right here on my front lawn. And it just it lo it looks terrible, man. I need an assembly line. And that's what we're going to be building today. No, there's a fly on my keyboard. Stop. Go away, fly. Nobody likes you. Yes! Okay, we have a brass casing. That's good. That's very good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Okay, we have that. We have two iron sheets. This is nice. We can build an elevator soon. Then I believe we need a piece of, of rose quartz. How do we... I forgot how to make that. Okay, so that's a piece of rose quartz. Now we need to polish it. Where is my sandpaper? An electro... That's one electron tube. Okay. Good thing I have a bunch of grind kelp for making the uh, belts earlier. We make a contraption controller and an elevator pulley. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm going to need a lot more iron. Wait, wait. No, I'm rich. I forgot about that. Do I have coal? I might, you know, I have dried kelp blocks. I don't need coal. Who needs coal? Kind of a crutch, honestly. We're in the brass age. We don't need to smell things with coal. So we're gonna need four red- We're gonna need two redstone contacts per floor, and we can always add more floors afterwards. But I think for now, we're just gonna have the two floors. So this should be enough iron. Oh yeah, at Oswald, we got you some clothes. That's pretty nice. I think you'll agree. All right, so now that iron is smelting, and then we'll have, uh, we'll have iron for- Wow, single player is lonely. Do I have cobblestone? I better have cobblestone here. There's cobblestone. Oh, we accidentally made eight. No, that's fine. That's useful. We have extra. So these are the raw materials to make an elevator, and now we just need to actually construct the contraption. You see, this is why I need an underground area to store all of my utility items, because I just can't find anything in this mess. Alright, so that kind of looks okay. Although I think I should push it back an extra block. Oh, the- Huh? Wait, there's a cat! Wait, are my villagers spawning cats now? Wait, wait, we're gonna get a cat, guys. We're gonna get a cat. Where is it? Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Please. Please, I want a friend who isn't a statue. Come on. Come here, kitty. No, 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 come here. I have fish. Fish? Mmm, tasty fish. Get over here. Eat the fish! Why are you running farther and farther away from me? Oh my god, taming cats is the worst. Come here. Yes, yes, fish. Tasty fish. This cat is gonna get itself killed. Oh! Yes! Oh, we have a cat! We have a cat, come on! Come on, come this way, Mr. Cat. Yes, you are the new guest of honor. Oh, we have a cat! We're not alone anymore. Where is it? Oh my god, yes! Hello! Oh, yes, this is the- do I have a name tag? I need an- yes, you get to have my bed, but I need a name tag. I need- do we not have a name tag? 
What do you mean I don't have a name tag? All right, we're gonna get you a name tag. But it's the last thing I do, Mr. Cat. Okay, we're gonna find you a name. Th this cat is now the most important character in the story, Mr. Uh, Mr. Oswald. Sorry, um, you're gonna have to be uh, retired. I have no need for you anymore. Sorry. I've been staring at this cat for 20 minutes. It's so nice to not be alone. I'm still alone. I'm sorry, who the heck do you think you are? What are you doing here? Out of my face. Now. Aha. Alright, so what's, what's this Y level? 65? Alright, so let's go down to Y level 65 with our elevator. Y level 65, here I'm coming, yeah! I'm gonna break my diamond pickaxe doing this, aren't I? Alright, so now, theoretically, all I need to do is get rotational power into the, um... The, what's it called? The elevator pulley. So we need to bring rotational power from over here to over there in a way that doesn't look terrible. So we need a bunch of shafts, okay. Then we're gonna, we're gonna need some gearboxes, too. But for that, we're gonna need more androcytes. We're gonna need an androcyte casing as well. Oh, we already have a gearbox. Perfect. Well, we're gonna need more, but that'll do for now. Sorry, Mr. Cap, but I'm gonna have to push you out. Actually, no, I don't. I can just sleep with you on the bed. Yay! This is incredible. Oh, I'm so happy I have a cat. It's it's so annoying. It, it's so loud. How do I make this cat be quiet? Bam, bam, bam. So now we're gonna need another gearbox. A couple of gearboxes, actually. We need to convert this power up here, like all the way up here, and then over here. What's the uh, video gonna be about? A create mod series that I've been doing. I was sorry about that. The thing is, now I get to put you in the title for clickbait. <laughs> Gonna get all- everybody's gonna come in here thinking that I'm collaborating with someone else, but really it's just some random Discord call. Like, finally, <laughs> I'm not alone anymore! But no, no, I'm still very alone. <laughs> Alright, so we have been very busy, very, very busy, and I've gotten none of it on camera because I'm boring, but here, as you see here, we have this little belt thing, and I- if I press this button here, it should pull up- a fully functioning elevator down underground. And we just uh, come over, it's raining. You see, it's raining, and so all we need to do to avoid the rain is press this button, and we just come all the way downstairs. Nice and fast, there we go. And then I've moved all the storage over here. The, uh, di the diamond miner actually creates a lot of uh, just raw resources that just lie all over the place, so you need a lot of storage for it all. We have gotten a lot of resources, though. If we come over here, I've started on our assembly line, and I'm also mass smelting resources because I have way too much stuff right now. Now, the issue with this assembly line is to make the mixer spin fast enough, we need something called a rotational speed controller. And to make a rotational speed controller, we need to make a precision mechanism, and to make that, we're going to need three... What, what are they called? Deployers. We're gonna need three deployers. And remember last time how much work it was just to make two of those. So that's gonna take a while, but you know what? That's not a huge deal because right now we have a much bigger objective and that objective is to make this area look, you know, not completely terrible. Because at the moment, it looks completely terrible. It's just stone. That's not what I came here for, man. I need a nice fancy underground house and then I can build nice fancy things on the surface when I figure out what I'm actually gonna build on the surface because I'm not actually very good at building I've been lying to you all the whole time and uh, I don't remember putting you here but okay as you can see we've been slowly leveling up our villagers we've actually been able to get a fortune 3 pickaxe because of that so fortune is pretty nice but we're also gonna have to get mending at some point and that's just taking 10,000 years so oh well so you know what we're just gonna have to uh try really hard to get this done as quickly as possible isn't that right isn't that right little kitty yeah we gotta we gotta find you a name tag so the way this works is i spent a bunch of time actually taking rotating power from this thing over here piping it underground up through the hill to create this elevator and this thing here will allow me to select which floor it goes to when i press the button and then this button summons it back up to the surface in case I get, get stuck up here somehow, or I die. Alright, now my only issue is figuring out whether or not I, I even, like, care enough to keep going with this. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try, we're gonna do all the, all the things. It's... <sighs> Alright, this is just depressing. I mean, I have a cat now, that's something. 
You know what? You know what? It's 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 boring right now. It's it, it's a little lonely, but it's fine because once we get everything up and running, we're gonna have all the fun and wonderful things to do, and there will be no uh, random destruction like in the past. And we're just gonna go and get all the fancy things. Are you gonna kill my cat? Is that a thing that you do? I hope not. So in the meantime, let's go and see what we can do about this assembly line. Okay, I'm really liking this this stuff called Crimsonite as a floor. I'm gonna be honest because I think I don't know what this is. I think it's part of the Create mod. Yeah, it's from the Create mod. I found it underground and it makes a really good floor texture. I think, and I really like the color of it as well. I used it a little bit in the windmill up there, and I used it as the base of the elevator. But I think down here is just going to straight up be the floor. As for the walls, I have an idea. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm going to try. So last episode, I spent about like, no, not last episode. In the first episode of this series, I spent like a combined several hours trying to get this block. Because to get it, I need to get raw deep slate instead of cobbled deep slate. So I spent a bunch of time getting this silk touch pickaxe. Only for me to realize when some guy points out in the comment section... I could have just smelted cobbled deep slate. So that was agonizing. Okay, I actually really like that. That makes a nice wall. Do I have more crimsonite though? Because I'm going to need a little bit more of that. I appear to be out of it. No worries. We can always go get more. Wait, we have a little bit more. Alright, now that I've mirrored that on the other side, you can see... Oh, I really like that. I really like that because it's a really nice combination of colors and has a lot of floor texture. And because I've done the thing with the upside down stairs here, it actually makes the hallway feel a little bit bigger than it actually is. Now, I don't have the resources or the time to do the whole room. But I think we can look at something for the roof here. All right, that looks nice. That looks nice because it's a nice contract to the spruce. Do I have any andrasite actually? I want to try a thing with andrasite. Problem is, I don't know how to craft the thing with andrasite. Do I need this? Wait, yes, I got it. Andrasite pillar. So this block has this weird side texture that's kind of like a grate, but it's also kind of a pillar. It's hard to explain. We're going to be using it. All right, so this is the concept for the design of the underground hallways that we're going to have here, because... Once again, the plan is to have a bunch of various machines and contraptions coming out of the sides of the ravine. But in order to make a lot of those contraptions, we're going to need an assembly line and a crafting area. And that is what this space is going to be for. So the underground tunnels will be very good for taking me to my storage area and uh, some farms and just the general areas where we're going to craft all the resources. And then we use the resources to build, like, actual facilities to craft the resources. Elevator, 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 yay! Leap. Leap. Okay, that's enough of that. I am definitely going insane out here. Hello, Mr. Cat. Hello. Hello. Every You guys watching the video better name this cat, by the way. I don't have a name tag. You guys are going to name this cat, or else... Who knows what could happen. Oh no, it's a skeleton. Please, I was only joking. I'm not actually gonna kill the cat. Stop, please. Actually, wait, I have armor. What am I doing? Aha! Die! Die, skeleton. Yes, do you have a name tag? You don't. Your life is meaningless to me. Well, everybody, I have an arrow in my face. How am I supposed to do an outro with an arrow in my face? What? Huh? What? What? And it shifts. It's not even in my face. It's like in my neck. Yeah, it's like in my neck, but it's appearing through the top of my head. I don't understand Minecraft, man. It doesn't make any sense. Well, everybody, that was all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and all that fun stuff that YouTubers are supposed to tell you to do. Also, here are some other videos. Here's a video where I uh, I played the Create Mod Survival Series. Actually, I could just do a playlist, actually. That'll be nice. And uh, here's a playlist to the Attributes SMP, which was uh, with other people and also with the Origins mod instead of some complicated Create mod that I barely understand how to use. That's the end of the video. Bye.